But I, that was actually a question that I also wanted to, to ask you, Jess. Was there a, a singular moment or a series of moments where you knew you wanted to do something kind of bigger than yourself? Well, to stick with our theme of talking to presidents when we were nine years old, although this will, this will show our age difference for sure. I remember um, watching cartoons on the day that President Reagan was shot. Now I was eight years old when, when Reagan was shot and it broke into our cartoons, you know, the breaking news. And I wasn't partisan back then. I just knew, I really like knew to love and respect the president. You know, I didn't really understand what he was all about. But I remember I did write a letter, a, a get well letter to him and I did, and to uh, Brady, who was also shot during that time. And I, and I got two letters back from the White House. Um, you for, wrote you back? They did write me back. I know. But I remember literally running down the block, um, showing my friends. And I think like what it meant for me more than anything was it demonstrated, I guess, as a little kid in Miami, without any real political, I mean, I, I came from a pretty um, amazing family, but, you know, middle class and not a lot of big connections. And then here was this attention given from somebody in power, right? Or however I got that note. And I think what I really like dug into then was how it made me feel. And it did make me feel seen and it made me feel important. And I think I would couple a, a moment like that, because your story made me think of it with teachers that I had who saw me demonstrate different elements of interest in school and really poured into that. So I have like two teachers in particular that were really meaningful. One was my fifth grade teacher named Mrs. Stetson, who saw me as a writer pretty early on and as a storyteller. And as I was also learning vocabulary words and adjectives in particular, I started to write all these extracurricular stories. I just couldn't stop writing these stories and sharing them with her. And she gave me a spot basically every week during lunch where I could read my stories to the class while people ate lunch. And I got to share my stories and like hear people laugh or not, you know, it was like a little bit like stand up as a fifth grader, but I got a chance to try out my material and her enthusiasm and support of me showed me like, okay, I can do this. I can use my words to move people and help them feel seen. Mm -hmm. And then in 10th grade, I had a biology teacher who became my principal, whose name was Ellery Brown. And she really saw me for this civil and political activism that I was becoming more connected to as a 15 year old and submitted me for this Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation uh, award for the state of Florida. And, and I, I won it and I got to represent the state of Florida at the White House also while Dan Quayle was vice president, I remember that was, was another Republican. I am definitely not a Republican, but I have very good memories of like being around <laughs> power when Republicans were president, which is weird. <laughs> But um, I went, I went in with all these other politically active kids. And I think so I tell those three stories because I think one was like recognizing that people have the, the, the ability to make you feel seen, that I had the ability with my words to connect to people. And then I could apply that to issues that, that I wanted to change in the world. Now, end of that story, which is really interesting, is that my high school teacher and principal is the mom of Katanji Brown Jackson. And her name is Ellery. And that is a huge influence in my life was Mrs. Brown, like saw me, championed me, is still in my life to this day, as is her family. And it was, yeah, it was like, and now to see her daughter become our first black Supreme Court justice of the United States, I mean, it's a, our black woman. It was just like, it's such an incredible full circle, but I would say those are kind of the, my most formative pieces that make me uh, who I am today.